Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, I'm going to answer one of our standards question. Uh, she sent in via our God or Day marriage website. Listen, if you have a question you would like for me to answer on the channel, head over to GodOrDayMarriages.com. Click on the tab that says contact us and send me your question, question today, okay? So let's jump into her question. She said, um, my family and I are dedicated and committed in our vows and covenant marriage. However, my husband and his family are the opposite. My husband is destroying and his sister have destroyed our marriage and he moved out for years and wants a divorce. But I am standing still to our marriage vows and covenant. What should I do? Should I still wait? According to husband, he is done with the marriage, but I don't want this marriage to be destroyed. Okay. So thank you for sending in your question. You asked the question, what should you do? Should you still wait? Um, and your husband is done with the marriage, but you want, you don't want the marriage to be destroyed. So number one, I want you to go back to the Lord and I want you to ask God, what do he want concerning your marriage? Ask God, do you want me to stand, you know, for my marriage or do you want me to release it? Right? Because it's one thing you know, for you to want this marriage, but it's a whole different ball game when God is like, release that because I have something better. Release that marriage because I never chose, you know, this person to be with you. I have your God ordained future husband over here, right? So the first step in this process is to go back to God in prayer and ask God, what do you want me to do concerning my marriage? Because this is the situation. This is what he is saying out of his mouth. What do you want, God? And then wait for God's instruction. After God give you his instruction, and let's say God say, stand, I want you to ask God, give me one more confirmation, okay, so that I know what I heard from you is the truth, and I'm not standing for a counterfeit. So when God give you the second confirmation to stand for your marriage, now it's time for you to move into prayer. Now, let me just say this. I'm not saying that God is going to confirm, you know, to you to stand for your marriage. OK, um, but I, I want you to go back in and, and ask God for these confirmations, because sometimes we can want a marriage. We can want to be with a certain person so bad to where we miss, you know, when God is telling us to let that individual go. So this is why I'm directing you back to your heavenly father, because. Um, I want you to, you know, make sure you're standing for the right marriage that God has for you. OK, so make sure you get those confirmation. If God says stand for your marriage, let's go. So next you want to move into prayer. OK, um, your house. When I talk about your house, I'm talking about um, you like how what you're built on. I'm talking about your husband and what he is built on. I'm talking about the marriage, right? The marriage foundation. Okay. So when I say how these are the things I'm referring to, your house is built on sand. This is why it's coming crumbling down. Okay. It talk about this in Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27. Basically, a house that is built on sand, it's going to come falling down. But a house that is built on the rock, aka the Lord, right? It's going to stand the test of time. Okay. I'm I was paraphrasing uh the book of Matthew chapter 7. So your house is built on sand, and the sand is showing up in his sister. OK, because you said his sister ha have destroyed your marriage. Well, your husband gave his own sister permission to destroy the marriage. OK, so make sure you're holding your husband accountable. OK, um, to, you know, because sister, my sister can't do anything in my marriage if I don't give her permission, you know, to do it. Right. So make sure you holding him accountable in that area, you know, um, but know that the uh, the sand like. I said is his sister she needs boundaries okay I want you to ask yourself in what ways have his sister you know destroyed my marriage maybe she planting certain seeds in his ear maybe she's overstepping boundaries in your marriage but whatever the case may be get crystal clear on how is his sister destroying your marriage and then give it a boundary okay um another thing Understand when your husband say things such as he's done with this marriage, I want a divorce. That is the enemy speaking through him. OK, so just because he wants a divorce, what did God say? 
everything goes right back to the Lord. Okay. This, you know, we got to invite God into these marriages. Okay. Because this is a God ordained marriage. So God is at the center. He's, he's like the head. Okay. And it, and it is, it is up to God to determine what he wants. So this is why I'm going to keep on directing you back to the Lord. What do God want you to do in this marriage? Okay. Um, but if God tell you to stand for your marriage, then that's exactly what you do. You stand for your marriage and we're going to stand in our prayer closet. So start praying for your husband's salvation. You know, pray against that running man spirit. Pray against, you know, um, if your husband, whatever you are seeing in your husband, um, that's, those are prayer points. So you keep using the word destroy, you know, uh, my husband is destroying the marriage, right? Well, you know, the Bible say pride goes before destruction. So we're going to pray against um, the spirit of pride um, and, and, and in hopes that God is going to come in and tear all that pride down, okay? And humble your husband, okay? So you want to pray against the spirit of pride. If you see anger, that is a spirit. You want to pray against that. If, if your husband is with um, other women, you want to pray against that. Jezebel, Deliah, right? Seducing spirit. You want to pray against all of these um this, all these spirits, spirit of lust, sexual perversion, pornography, masturbation, fantasy in the mind. You want to pray against all of these things. That is um, because the enemy has a hold on your husband. OK. And the enemy, you know, he he see the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. Right. So he's already stolen your husband out of his position as head. Now he's trying to steal your marriage by having your husband. You know, um, he's speaking through your husband that, by saying, I want a divorce. Right. So now it's time for you to walk into the enemy's territory and take back every single thing the devil has stolen from you. Now it's time for you to get in your prayer closet and learn where your authority comes from and rebuke the hand of the enemy off of your marriage off of your husband right and also uh, another thing i want to point out you said at the beginning you said my family and i are dedicated and committed in our vows and covenant marriage however my husband and his family are the opposite so it sounds like your husband family they have a generational curse going on in their family bloodline they don't believe in um honoring vows and covenants right they don't believe in this right so this is another piece of the um puzzle right we want to go in here and break off these generational curses right you know uh and just begin to decree that you know um um you know that you and your husband will honor your vows together you know see right now you and your husband are not walking on one accord yeah that's why the two of you are you know you're going in different direction okay um so when you pray god is going to come into your marriage and he's going to knock, he's going to, he's going to knock down the sand and he's going to get you and your husband back walking on the same accord, right? It's say, like, can two walk together except they agree, right? Right now, y'all unequally yoked. So God has to come in here and knock a few things down, bring, he got to bring correction where correction is needed, right? He got to move your husband to a level of healing, and he also got to grow him into the husband God has called him to be. So this is going to take time. But um, like I said, go back to the Lord. Ask God, what do you want me to do concerning this marriage? If God tells you to stand, then you stand. And we stand in our prayer closet. Okay. We stand, you know, just praying for the situation. You have to be very specific in your prayer. OK, it's not enough for you to say, oh, God, just say my marriage. No, we have to be very specific. OK, I come against that spirit of pride, anger, lust, you know, uh, fornication, whatever it is. Right. Whatever God is showing you in the name of Jesus Christ, you know, I rebuke. I'm trying to think uh, that spirit of depression, loneliness, you know, off of my husband in Jesus name. Right. You have to go to war. OK, so. That is my advice. Go back to the Lord. Ask the Lord, what do you want me to do concerning this marriage? And whatever God tells you to do, that's what you do. All right. So that is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.